let's try to make our website responsive on a portrait mode in mobile view. Now I'm here in the mobile view and first of all I am noticing that we can scroll here to the right. So let's try to find the culprit for that and let's inspect everything from top down. So we don't have any spacing here in the hero text wrap. We can reduce the padding to zero for the moment and then we have some width of 350 pixels. However, portrait mode is only 320 pixels wide. So this is definitely too wide. Let's reduce this to 300 pixels. And we can still scroll to the right. And I think the culprit is here. The subheading hero is also 300 pixels, 350 pixels wide. Let's reduce this to 300 pixels. Now we cannot scroll to the right anymore. The next thing we can change is we have quite a lot of space here and this image looks a bit small. So let's make this image bigger. I'm increasing the width of this image. Let's set it to 60%. This should increase the image. And let's try to reduce some of the padding here to make some more space for this text. The same should be applied down here. Let's set this both to 20. So we have some more space. And then these blog posts are definitely the tiles are too short for some of them. So let's try to fix this. And for that, I'm going to increase the height to 500 pixels. And that leaves us enough room for some more text. And now there's no more overflow happening. All right. Now, one more thing I'm noticing is that this trade, surf and trade logo and this icon here are not necessarily on the same line. And it would be good if they are more or less on the same height. And I assume the same must be true also for our landscape. And again, we can see that they are not exactly on the same line. And since changes cascade down, I'm going to increase the padding slightly to 20 pixels. And this should fix it. Now what we need to check is if this is also affecting working on the other pages. So let's go to contact and check quickly if this worked here as well. No, also here we need to push it down to 20 pixels. And the reason for that again is that on the home page, since this is all wrapped in a link, this logo here, we add Webflow automatically adds this current class to it. So say changes we do here on the home page are only going to save be saved in this current class. So in order to make sure that this is also affecting the other websites, uh, other other pages on our website, we I just needed to add this as well here on the contact page because here Webflow doesn't apply this current class. Let me just demonstrate you. You see there's no current class. So that's why we had to repeat this. Now, since we are already on the contact page, let's inspect. And first of all, I think we can move this image here. make sure that it is centered so we can see the surfer and then let's see if we can maybe create some more space here and reduce this to 10 percent on both sides so we have some more space for this form can even go five percent since it's a mobile phone there we go maybe we can make those social media icons a bit smaller I'm going to reduce their height 
and width and that should be done in the social media link block yeah there are 50 pixels let's do that here as well let's change them to 40 pixels by 40 pixels just to make it a bit smaller and that affects as well this landscape mode at uh, a portrait mode i'm sorry now let's inspect the next page our about section and i think this looks pretty good only thing is we can scroll here to the right again and again this culprit will be those images let's try and fix this and in order to fix these images again we make use of the grid system so i'm gonna remove some of these columns to make sure we fit everything on page and then let's edit the images so let's make sure that this one only takes up so many columns and make sure it's stretched out and then we have one image below here which is also taking up too many columns let's make sure this is on the same we can stretch these ones to take up the right amount of columns there we go and now we have our image is fixed and we can't scroll to the right anymore let's inspect this text column and we have padding on both sides maybe we can increase this image let's reduce the padding to 10 percent and set this to 40 pixels and the bottom one to 60 pixels so we have a little bit less white space and we change this one to 40 pixels and i think that is all work looking okay now let's get to the block and i think we have some work here to do